Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of classifying two dimensional shapes. This is standard 4.6D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 43 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a seemingly simple problem, which figures appear to be rectangles. Well, that's easy. We learned this in pre-K. We've got figure P. But look at our answer selections. It's got to be at least two of them. So we need to step back a moment, make sure we understand what the actual definitions for these shapes are. So let's start with our biggest type of uh, category that we can look at here. Since these are all four-sided shape, quadrilateral are four-sided shapes. Four-sided four -sided polygons, to be exact, that means they are closed. They have straight lines. So if, I'm going to make a little table here. So I've got my figures P, Q, R, and S. And that's going to help me kind of get these organized here. So I'm going to uh, first make a little category for quadrilateral here. So how many of these are quadrilateral four-sided polygons? Well, figure P, definitely. Figure Q, it's different, but it does have four sides. Yes, figure R has four sides. And then figure S. So within this right here, we've got all quadrilaterals. Now next, within quadrilaterals are a type of quadrilaterals that are called parallelograms. So parallelograms are quadrilaterals. You see how it's kind of underneath that. Quadrilaterals that have two sets of, you guessed it, parallel sides. So two pairs of parallel sides. So if we were to kind of, I'm going to put a para right here. It's going to keep that straight. Let's see, this side right here, I'm going to put a little hash mark in P, is parallel. That means if they were to extend forever, they would stay the same distance apart and never touch. So that's one set. And then this other side is also parallel. Okay, so figure P is definitely a parallelogram. It's got two sets of parallel sides. Same with this figure Q, the top and bottom definitely parallel. These two slanted sides look parallel. They look like they would stay the same distance apart, never touch. So figure Q looks good. Figure R, yes, that's a square. So that's got two sets of parallel sides. And then figure S has got all diagonals, but yeah, they both sets definitely look parallel. So that is going to be good for us there. So underneath quadrilateral, we have parallelogram. I'm going to kind of draw an arrow because underneath parallelogram, we have a special type of parallelogram. This is what we're looking for, a rectangle. So we need to know that all rectangles are quadrilaterals. All rectangles are parallelograms, but they're a special type of parallelogram that have four right angles. Or... You can call it four square corners or four 90 degree angles. You can call that right angle many different things. It can even be four 90 degree angles. So let's see if we can call that rectangle right here. Well, obviously my figure P is good because it is a rectangle. It's got four square corners, so we are good to go there. Figure Q doesn't have any right angles, so I'm going to just leave that blank. It's got two obtuse right here and two acute. So we're just going to call that a parallelogram and leave it there. Figure R, look at that. It's a square, but it actually has four square corners, and that's the definition of a rectangle. It is a parallelogram that has four right angles, so I'm going to have to put a check on that. And then figure S, nope, it's just got two obtuse too acute. So we actually see if we were to continue, a special type of rectangle is a square with four equal sides. That's why that square is different. But we have our answer here of P and R, C.